I did read the Bhagavad Gita in, in preparation, and, it, and I, found it, I, I thought it was absolutely beautiful text, um, very inspiring. Killian brother, I love you in Peaky Blinders, but I'm gonna have to disagree with you. While the Bhagavad Gita was an interesting read, beautiful and inspiring would be far from the words I would use to describe it. Besides the loads of contradictions in Krishna's response to Prince Arjuna, the moral lessons within the Gita are very problematic. In the story, Prince Arjuna is faced with a moral dilemma when he is on the battlefield about to engage in battle with his own relatives and loved ones. He is overcome with compassion and sorrow at the thought of killing those he holds dear. On one hand, he has a duty as a prince to protect his kingdom, on the other he is confronted with the ethical dilemma of killing his loved ones. It's a long conversation, but essentially Krishna tells Arjuna not to mourn the death of his loved ones and fulfill his duty. Your duty is above the emotions of compassion and sorrow you feel at the thought of slaying those you love. And besides, you're only killing the physical body which doesn't have much value, you cannot kill their soul which is immortal. Krishna even utters such words as, just as we discard old worn out clothes, the soul casts off old worn out bodies. To enter a new body at the time of death, a body is for the soul are what clothes are for us. There is something utterly sinister and evil about the justification that Krishna gives Arjuna. To set his feelings aside and fulfill his duty, even if it is killing loved ones. You can see why this is so problematic, it devalues the physical body by dismissing it as nothing but mere clothes that the soul sheds, which the Bible puts high value on and calls a temple. Plus, if you kill them, they'll be reincarnated into a new body anyways, so don't sweat it, Prince. Dharma is above all else. Discard those feelings of love, mercy, and compassion you feel Arjuna and use the sword. This is the kind of problematic thinking that comes about when you don't have an objective moral code to abide by and your overarching goal in life is escape from samsara. That is why you see groups of Hindus engage in violent, immoral activity with no remorse. Like the violence that is occurring towards Christians in the Indian state of Manipur. Unlike the problematic relative philosophy found all over Hindu texts like the Gita, the Bible sets clear objective moral standards that come from one God.